Equal Media TV, become an equal. Hey guys, my name is Ronald, aka Ronald of the Edits, and today I got a new tutorial on how we get a nice and smooth transitions between a clip. So, first of all, we're just gonna import like two clips. There we go. And just wanna make a new composition for like 10 seconds long if you only wanna do the uh, cup, uh, the, the effect with me. So, uh, make it like, I don't know, 5 seconds long or maybe 10, you know, just make it 10 seconds long for the transition. Now, import the clip, and now we are going to the, we're going to a nice part of it. Which is like here. Now, we are going to cut it, and then cut it just to get that. Uh, transition over there split quad import it whatever and now we cut it and as I can see it set the same same way right now so you know it's got it's in, zooms out and then book goes in the other clip so that's pretty nice Let me just kind of make this a little bit better. There we go. You know, it's just a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter. Now, what you want to do is you actually want to go make a new adjustment layer. Also, make the composition however long you want it, but I'll just make it like uh, one second and a half long. Now you got the uh, the adjustment layer. Now first of all we're gonna select the CC light ray, C CC light burst. I'm sorry, CC light burst. Put it on there, and now it creates this nice um, matrix thingy, stars thingy. I don't know. Um, the intensity we wanna have it at zero, because then it's not gonna affect any lights. Put this at zero too. Now go to the start, keyframe it, keyframe the ray, light, ray length, and now put this at 25 or something. And maybe, maybe, maybe we can put it a little bit higher. Let's say 35. 35 is a nice one. Now go to the end and then just keyframe it back to zero. Press U and make sure you press F9 after you've keyframed it so it's all smooth. And right now we can get some light, um, what's it called, shine, there we go, import shine if you have it, now set that to add, go on top, uh, go to pre-process and I'll drag it on top of the CC light burst so it's not affecting any, any, uh, of these uh, little uh, sparks now go to pre-process and adjust the threshold to around 100 maybe a little bit more 125 mm, 150 will do it mm, just gonna find a new nice spot which is over here okay so we got it over here and uh, right now you're just going to um, play with the shine opacity so you're gonna put it at zero go to the keyframe put it at 100 and put it back at zero Now, you want to mask it out. Wait, maybe we should. Okay, I did something wrong. Okay, you have the shine and the CC light burst right now. 
But what you want to do is you want to click on the shine, Control C. I have no MacBook, so I don't know which. Uh, it's, it's probably Command C or something. I don't know, but right now we're gonna press Control C to duplicate it, and select Control Alt Y to get out the new adjustment layer, and then press Control V so to actually copy these two and delete the shine from it. And right now we got the shine. And you want to mask it out, so you press G to get the pen tool, and you know you want to go around the uh, around the gun like this. There we go. It's just for the tutorial now, so it doesn't doesn't really have to be that good. Weird. Never mind though <laughs> I'm in this tutorial right now and uh my mic just went on and everything. I don't care. Uh but we really just go on and uh so if you have ma if you have that mask out now you have to adjust the mask sometimes. So if you keyframe it right now, go to the transition. As you guys can see right now it's turning out a little bit nice. There we go. <coughs> Double click and just get it back into the zoom or something. I don't know. Yo, Sam, I'll move my mic for a second, mate. All right, there we go. Now, um, I have really no idea what's up with the uh, mic, but uh, we'll get to that. Now, uh, go to your search point and go on top of the uh, go a little bit in front of the uh, in front of the uh, sniper and now reduce the uh, threshold by a hundred so maybe a little bit more 50 to get nice overlay if you want to press uh, now you want to select the layer press F to get the feeder and put it at 85 so we're gonna nice little feeder. And now as you can see it starts turning red and goes to the next clip and over here you can also just put it at like zero. Now you wanna press at nine. Obviously we can put the uh CC light burst in it. Because it isn't really that spectacular. There we go. Zero. Oops. Put it at zero. Now it's all. Uh, now it all goes with the mask. So we have to put this at zero here. And we can delete this layer. So isn't this nice? It's it's a nice effect. I've I've never really done this before. I guess uh, I'll just save it, and you guys will see it in a nice, uh, nice and next video. So if you if you want to save a pr uh, preset like this, you know maybe we can put a nice little turbulent displays on it, just to get it all a little bit better. Mm. Or bulge. I don't know. You just have to play with it. I'll put it on turbulence and then size thirty-five to zero. I go to here. Mount twenty-five, maybe fifty. Just put it at fifty over here and get back over here. A little bit over the uh, normal one, so we just get this nice little wobble going on right here. It goes out. So right now I'm just gonna press U again for the keyframes. Press F9, and we will render this out <coughs> real quick.
and a bit of a weird song. But um, if you wanna, you wanna press Control Alt T. Again, I have no idea what's it on, uh, what it is on the uh, MacBook or Mac software or whatever. Um, I wanna have these drag out like this, I guess, and the mask pad. Like this, so we got a nice transition right now. Obviously, in a in a real edit, you're gonna play with the uh, trans transform and then just nice little wiggle and stuff on it. But uh, in the real edit, you won't see the really difference between it. And obviously, you can uh, if it's a little bit longer, like the this clips over here show you that but we have to move everything like this and uh, you want to press T zero go to the effect 100 and now it should be smooth but those are just like the really tiny things that you have to uh, do to get the effect as nice as possible Yeah, so, um, you know, uh, you guys can play with it, and um, see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like and comment. Make sure you check out Ecomedia TV, Ecomedia Editing, Ecomedia Music, and obviously get partnered with them. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you, baby.